Welcome, welcome. I'm Allie from Trunk Up Fitness, and this is your full body Pilates workout. Pilates is a great form of exercise, not only for your core, but it's gonna work your whole body. We're gonna stay pretty low on our mats today, and all I'm gonna suggest is maybe a little playground ball. It's an option, not a requirement. You can do this whole exercise without a ball at all. We're gonna get started on our mats. I'll see you there. So finding a comfortable seated position on our mats to start off. So maybe that's that crisscross legs, stacking those shoulders over those hips. We're gonna warm up our spine to start. So we're gonna inhale our arms, reaching up towards the ceiling, taking the ball along for the ride, reaching those shoulders up towards your ears, taking those shoulders back down, passing the ball towards the other hand, now I want you to see curve that spine. So tuck the chin into the chest, pull your belly button in round the spine. Nice and long arms beside you, reaching up nice and tall. Taking those shoulders up towards the ears. Relaxing them back down, arms out to the side, friends. Taking those hands in front, tucking the chin into the chest, round that spine. One more time here. Arms to the side. Reach, reach, reach towards the ceiling. Taking those shoulders up towards the ears. And back down, out to the side. Round that spine, tuck that chin into the chest. We're gonna add on to this movement here. Taking those arms out to the side. Can we take our right hand towards the floor? Allowing that ball to come towards the side, reaching that left arm overhead bicep towards ears. Beautiful. Coming back to that stacked shoulders over hips. Ball up towards the ceiling. Shoulders up towards the ears. Back down. Curl. Hands out to the side. Taking that left hand towards the floor. That ball is going to allow us to roll onto our forearm. Feeling that stretch through the side body. One more time on each side. This time let's take the ball forward, tuck our chin into our chest, curl. Taking the arms out to the side, reaching that arm. Trying to keep both bum cheeks on the floor. Maybe looking up towards the ceiling. Back through center, last time on the left side, reaching forward. Exhale. Reaching to the side, lengthening through that side body, just warming up here, friends. Coming back through that center. Let's take our hands out in front. I'm gonna turn my body so that you can see me. We're gonna curl coming through and then we're gonna bring that ball behind us this time yes so now I'm arching I'm gonna curl so here's your cat cow seated cat cow and a nice little arch one more round last time here Yes. Bringing this ball back in front of us. We're gonna take our feet flat on the floor, and this time the ball is gonna go between our knees. Squeezing that ball together, hands on our thighs, bending at the elbows, can we straighten out those arms? Pulling that belly button in towards our spine, finding that roundness of our spine. Holding here on an inhale, exhale rises us back up. Inhale, round. We're going to pause. Pause here. Exhale. Coming right back up. Last time like this, tucking the chin, rounding in that spine, squeezing your inner thighs together, squeezing into that ball. 
stacking those shoulders over the hips. This time as we come down, rounding, pulling the belly button in, pausing here, can we bring our right arm forward? Option to bring that bicep by that ear, pausing, bringing that back down, squeeze that ball, friends, taking our left arm forward, maybe that bicep comes by that ear, pausing, and then coming back down. Can you feel a little bit of that earthquake shake? We're going to try both arms this time, bringing both arms forward. Maybe this is where you're at today. Or option, squeezing that ball, taking those biceps by those ears, pausing here. Take a nice inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, stack shoulders over hips. Beautiful, friends. Let's do that one more time. We're going to curl and round. You know your options. Taking that right arm up. Bringing that back down. As soon as I squeeze that ball, my lower abdominals just click right in that pelvic floor region. I'm going to try with both arms again, taking both arms forward, maybe lifting them up overhead, pausing here, taking them back by my thighs, pausing, and then coming right back up, stacking shoulders over hips. Beautiful work, guys. We're going to take this ball. This time it's going to be in our hands as we squeeze that ball. We're going to slowly roll down. So I'm going to curl my spine as I roll down. Imagine I'm holding your hands and you're rolling down one vertebrae at a time, down on your mat, rolling, belly button in towards the spine. Beautiful, friends. Once you've reached down towards the mat, maybe your arms go overhead and your legs come long. Maybe that back peels off the mat. And can we re-tuck that tail, make that back flat on the mat, drawing that belly button towards your spine, ribs and hips meeting together in the center. That is your core engagement right here. We're gonna take our right knee up into space, pressing into that ball. We're gonna tuck our chin into, into our chest, curling our shoulders off the mat, holding here, pressing our knee into the ball and our hand into the ball. Hold for an inhale, exhale, come back down. Let's try that again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, rounds us up, reaching, pressing with that left foot so my left foot is flexed, squeezing in that quad, pressing that knee into that ball, holding for an inhale, exhale, bring everything nice and long, one more time, inhale prepares us, bringing that knee up, hand on the ball, lifting those shoulders off the mat, reach with those fingertips, push with that left foot, holding for an inhale, exhale long. Let's try the left side this time, stacking the left knee over the left hip, pressing the left hand into the ball, tucking the chin into the chest, reaching with those fingertips, flexing in those toes, Taking everything nice and long. Two more times here, friends. Pressing that ball into the knee, reaching. Good. Stay for an inhale. One more. Nice and long. Pressing into the block or into the ball. Reach and press. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in that quad. Stay for an inhale, last time long. Beautiful, letting that back come up off the mat. 
Let's warm up our glutes, shall we? We're gonna take this ball and place it in between our thighs. And we're gonna squeeze that ball. So I don't want your heels too close to your bum or too far away. Maybe mat distance apart. You're gonna squeeze into the ball and you're gonna lift your hips up. So take a look to see if your knee and hip are in alignment. Squeezing your bum. Let your shoulders relax towards the mat. Neck is long. Looking up towards the ceiling. Staying here for an inhale and then lowering back down. Let's do that again. So squeezing your bum, pressing through the full foot, rising up, staying here for an inhale and then lowering back down. Option here is to add our arms. So we're gonna, on an inhale, reach our arms up towards the ceiling. Maybe they come overhead, back up towards the ceiling as we lower everything back down. We have two more just like this, squeezing and pressing through that foot, just warming up the back line of the body and coming back down. One more time, squeeze that ball, press through those feet, rising up, maybe thumbs come overhead and then lowering back down. Taking this ball out, we're gonna place this ball on our right foot this time. So option just to stay with the flat feet. So I have my right foot on the ball. Left foot is on the mat. This time I still wanna squeeze my inner thighs and press into that ball, which is gonna make it a little bit more unstable. So my palms are on the mat, shoulders are on the mat, squeezing my bum, rising up, pausing here and slowly lowering back down. Hey, Jack. I'm gonna do that again. Squeeze your bum, press your foot into the ball, rise up, pause, take a nice inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Now with the instability of the ball, do you feel that hamstring kick in? I certainly do. So you're gonna press up again. Yes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that bum. It's almost like you're trying to drag that heel towards your right glute. Squeeze and slowly lower down. Option, staying with that movement, option two, rising up on an inhale, taking that left leg, bring it in, tapping it back down and lower. You're gonna notice I'm not going up as high. That's all about range of motion. So squeeze your bum, press into that ball, press into your hands, taking that foot up and lowering it back down. One more. Squeeze and lift, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Press up, push into that ball, press into those hands. Coming in, Woo. back down, take everything out nice and long, shake that off my hamstring. I really feel that in my hamstring. And we're gonna go and do the other side. Gotta get both cheeks even. Finding that foot on that left foot this time. Starting off with both feet flat on the floor, rolling those shoulders back into the mat. Good. There's a slight tuck in your chin, looking up towards the ceiling. Press into the floor and into the ball, rising up. Good. Now you may feel more stable on one side than the other. This is definitely my more stable side, so I worked the side uh, that needs to be strengthened a little bit more first. Squeeze and lift. Pause at the top and slowly lower down. One more like this, squeezing in your bum, 
<laughs> Imagine that heel is coming towards your bum, making sure both hips are pointed up towards the ceiling. Pause and slowly lower down. So option two was lifting that right leg. So squeeze your bum or whatever foot's not on the ball. Press into the floor. Woo. Coming up. Pause. Slowly lower down. Oh, my hamstring on this one. Hello. Okay, one more. Uh, we got two more on this side. Inhale to prepare. Squeeze and lift. Doesn't have to be a big lift. Press into the palms. Up. Pause. Slowly lower down. Rolling down. One more, friends. We got this. Pulling that core in. So that core is going to help stabilize the movement. We work in this kind of movement to help with our mobility. Press and lift. Good. Press that foot into the hand. Hands into the floor. Lifting up. Pause. Slowly lowering down. Whew. Let that leg go. I like to shake it out a little bit. Good. Taking those feet nice and long. Toes are up towards the ceiling. We're going to roll up. So option to bring the ball along for the ride. Lifting those arms up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest. Peel the shoulders off the mat. Rolling up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Squeezing your quads. Reaching forward over those toes. Beautiful, friends. Rolling right back down. Can we keep that roundness happening? Roll, roll, roll. Tucking in. Squeeze those quads. Toes are up. Beautiful. Nice work, friends. We're going to take those knees over our hips. The ball is going to come in between our thighs again. Squeezing in towards our thighs. Tucking our chin into our chest. Reaching with those fingertips. Holding here and pumping with our arms. So coming into our hundred, just warming up the core, the front line of our body a little bit. So we reach with our fingertips. We can point through our toes. We can stay right here or option to move the legs long, squeezing that ball. When you squeeze that ball, those inner thighs, it's really going to pull pull up into that lower abdominal region. Keep the pumping happen. You can even do it on a breath count if you want. You could do inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Keep that breath alive. Squeezing in. Reaching with those fingertips. Reaching with those toes. Last ten. Four, three, two. Knees into the chest. Let that head relax. Good work, friends. We have one more to do on the front line of our body before we roll back up. Taking that ball in between our ankles. We're going to start with our feet flat on the floor. If you find that your back is popping up off the mat, can you readjust it? Beautiful. We're going to tuck our chin and peel our shoulders, reaching with our fingertips. Good. We're going to try to keep the shoulders off the mat and we're going to move that ball towards our knee. Nice work. Pushing it right back towards that foot. Let's do that again. That heel is going to help 
Bring that ball up towards the knee. Keep that breath alive and pushing it right back down. What's happening with your lower abdominal? Can you keep that back flat? The rib and the hip connecting. Yes. Last one here. We're going to flip it up and over and do the other side. Bringing that heel towards the knee. Can you keep those shoulders lifted? There you are. Pushing that ball right back down. Squeeze your bum, friends. Everything's engaged. There we go. Knee is in. Yep. And push. Yes. Inhale. Exhale. Do that again. Bringing that knee in. Good. And push. Last one. Coming back down, you can stretch your arms overhead. Just releasing that abdominal for a little minute. We're going to take our, keep our head on the mat this time, shoulders on the mat. Taking that ball back with that right leg, ankle to ankle, adjusting. <laughs> this time we're going to take the legs up. So option, if you find that your back peels off the mat, the lower you are, I want you to readjust. So maybe that means your feet are up towards the ceiling a little bit more. Maybe you have a slight bend in your knee. You do what's best for you today. I want you to do form over speed. So tucking in that pelvis, belly button is pushed down. So if you find that you're coning up through the stomach, I want you to readjust. It's almost like you're laughing. <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna flex my feet the best I can. Squeeze in my quads. This time, head is down. Taking that foot towards the knee. Yes. Pushing it long. Oh, do it again. Ball is going to roll towards the knee. Ball is going to roll towards the foot. One more time. Ball is rolling. And push. Let's try the other side. Ball rolls towards the knee. You can have your leg lower if that's comfortable for you. Or higher. You choose. And push. One more on this side. One more. <laughs> Coming back through that with long legs, wherever you are, holding in the center, squeezing the ball in between your ankles. We're going to tuck our chin into our chest. Last round here, reaching forward, switching, right legs on top, bringing that ball towards the knee, pushing it out, left legs on top, ball towards the knee, push it out. It's your last time through. You have three just like this. And push. Yes. Peeling the shoulders off the mat. Just an option. You can always go back to the, one of the two options we did prior. You have two more. Last time right. And push. Last time left. Hold. Squeeze that ball in between your ankles. Hold, 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 hold. Bring your knees into your chest. Rolling it back down. Maybe rocking side to side here. Coming back to that breath work. Beautiful. We're going to roll ourselves back up. So taking our legs long. Maybe the ball is coming along for the ride. Reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. I like to tuck my chin into my chest and then I peel my shoulders off the mat. 
I squeeze my bum and squeeze my quads and maybe I peel my mid back off the mat. I'm rounding that spine as I roll myself all the way over. Breathing here for an inhale. Exhale, stacks those shoulders over those hips. Beautiful work, friends. Let's come on to our hands and knees. Placing that ball in between our thighs this time. I'm gonna to turn to the center so that you can see me a little bit. And we're gonna squeeze that ball again. So my shoulders are over my wrists and my hips are over my knees. I want you to tuck your toes here and hover those knees off the mat. Squeeze that ball. So squeeze that ball in tight. Your gaze is between your fingertips. Nice long spine, so that includes your neck. Holding here, can we tap the right knee down, lifting it back up, and then tapping the left and back up. So down. Yes. Pulling that belly button in. Let's do four. And tap. There's three. Ooh, how's that feel? Two. And tap. Last time right. Last time left. Good, friends. Coming, I'm just going to turn myself around here. Coming back to the side, I'm going to take my ball out, push my bum towards my heels, sit back into a child's pose. Catching my breath, maybe relaxing my forehead on the mat. And when you're ready, rounding yourself up, coming back to those shoulders over those hips. We're going to place the ball in our right hand this time. Good. We're going to find that neutral spine, so we're not going to pop up or sag down, but coming into a neutral spine, so pulling the belly button in, finding that unstableness with that hand on that ball. We're going to take our left leg out nice and long here. Beautiful. Can we lift that left leg up into space? Good work. I'm just going to switch to the other side. We have the right leg nice and long on that unstable arm. Good. Can we tent the left fingertips? Taking the left hand, arm, bicep by that ear, maybe holding here, maybe lifting up that right leg. Reach, reach, reach. Pulling everything back down. Let's try that again, finding that neutral spine. Left, a right leg is long, squeezing in that glute, tenting the left fingertips, pressing the floor away. Maybe that left arm comes up. Maybe that right leg comes up, reaching. Reach, 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 reach. And everything comes back down. Let's try the other side. The ball is great for finding and helping with our stability and our mobility. So my fingertips are nice and wide on my right hand. This time, my left leg was going to be nice and long. Maybe tent my right fingertips. Maybe the arm comes up. If I find a little bit of stability, maybe I can take that left leg off the mat, reaching opposite directions here, and then bringing it back down. Let's try two more times. So finding that neutral pelvis, taking that left leg long, tenting the right fingertips. Option, bringing that arm long. Option, taking that leg up. Beautiful, friends. One more time, taking it down. Last time here. Woo! Nice and long with that leg. 
Finding that neutral pelvis to start. Maybe that arm reaches long. Ooh, feeling that cross body connection. Reach, reach, reach. Bringing everything back down, pushing your bum towards your heels and finding your child's pose. Maybe rolling out your wrists here. We have one more version to do and then we're gonna move on to some prone work. So this time we're gonna place the ball underneath our knee. So I'm gonna place it underneath my right knee to start. Actually, I'll place it under my left knee to start. Good. So now, and I'm gonna tuck both toes. Shoulders over wrists, there we go. We're gonna just lift that right hip up and then bringing it back down. So you can really feel that hip coming right back into that neutral spine, right? So you're bringing that hip up and down. Option here, is to take that foot off the mat as you lift it up and down. Taking that hip back up, squaring the hips off, and then back down. Option here, taking both toes off the mat, pressing, lifting up, and back down. One more, press and lift, and back down. Let's try that on the other side. So ball, is under the right knee this time, finding wide fingertips, pressing the floor away, neutral spine to start, tucking in those toes is option one, and lifting the knee off the floor and back down. So notice how that feels on your body to start. So starting with option one, and then progressing through. Sometimes it's just nice to warm up that body, get it prepared, instead of just jumping right to the fullest progression. Option two was that left foot is off the mat as you hike that hip up. Hiking that hip up back into a neutral position and tapping that knee back down. Option three, here we go, that full progression both feet are off the mat, pressing into that floor. Press, 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 press. And tapping it back down. Pull that belly in, press, 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 press. And back down, you have one more, friends. Press, feel that stability. Yes, and back down. Good work. We're gonna take this ball onto our um, bellies here. I like to have it a little bit onto my chest. There we go. There we go. Arms can come down by the side. Actually, I'll take my arms up just so you can see my work here. So my belly is pushed towards the mat and now I'm gonna lift my belly up. So I'm gonna let my belly go into the mat and then I'm gonna lift my belly up. Try that again, letting it go feeling the belly touch the mat. Now I want you to pull your belly in towards your spine, tuck your tail and feel the lift. This is where we're gonna stay, in this lift. You can squeeze your bum if that helps you. Feet can be nice and wide if that helps you. Good. We're gonna have our hands by our sides here, pressing our chest forward. Nice work, guys. So the ball is gonna help us with that chest extension here. We're not propping our chin out. Gaze is slightly above our fingertips, keeping that belly lifted. Can we take our feet off the mat? Yes, holding here, squeezing here, and then tapping them back down. So we're staying lifted, that ball is helping us, pressing through our hands, nice work. Belly's lifted off the mat. Can we do that again? Lifting those feet off the mat. Nice work. One more time and we're gonna add on. So staying lifted here. Taking those feet off the mat. Yes. Good. 
taking our arms this time long beside us, palms face up. Good. You can let that belly drop just for a minute, then readjust, lifting the belly up, squeezing in that bum. Can we take those arms out to the side? Palms are up, flipping those palms down, Superman them forward. Let's do that. Let's pull them back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in those shoulder blades. And then palms up. Let's do that again. Palms face up. Take those arms out to the side. Palms face down. Superman those arms forward. Almost like you're holding on a piece of wood. Push it in towards your chest. Yes. And then float those arms behind you. One more time. Out to the side. That ball's helping us with our chest staying lifted. Squeezing our bums here. Superman forward. Biceps by those ears. Pulling that bar into our chest, squeezing our shoulder blades before we bring our palms back. Yes, resting back down. You can rest over that ball. That feels comfortable for you. We're gonna add on here. Beautiful. Taking those arms back behind you, palms face up. We're gonna lift our arms and then lift our legs. Good. Holding here for a count of four. Three, two, back down over that ball. Nice work, friends. Let's pull that belly up. Taking those arms behind us. Let's lifting in those legs. Reach, 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 reach. Oh, coming back down over that ball. Let's take that ball out of our chest this time. We're gonna place our hands on the ball and we're gonna reach forward on the ball. Bringing those elbows towards our chest. Yes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And reaching forward so my palms are together rolling over the ball onto my forearms and then bringing my elbows in towards my chest, rolling that ball towards me. Lifting that chest up into space. Now this is gonna look different on everybody, depending on your range of motion for the day today. Prone work, backside of the body, also part of your core, so important to do. Not just all about the six pack abs, nice and long. We're gonna hold this one up, bringing that ball towards you. Elbows are in, holding here. Can you look over your right shoulder? Beautiful. Over to your left shoulder, back towards center, and roll it down. Good work, friends. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, push yourself back, coming into that child's pose. Oh, friends, that was such great work. We got more work to do. We're going to roll on up. I'm going to face you this time. We're going to have our feet flat in front. We're going to place our ball behind our right knee, taking our knees over towards the left side. Yes. So coming into our little mermaid pose here, you can have your shoulders over your hips, option here is to come down onto your forearm so my shoulder is still over my elbow here and I'm lifting up through the side body so I'm not sinking down and my chest is pointed towards you. We're going to flex in our feet and squeeze that ball. I'm going to bring my hands in front. We're going to take that knee off the mat. Hello. We're going to bring that ball forward, that knee forward and push that knee back. Small movement here, bringing that knee forward and knee back. So your torso isn't moving. You want your knee in line with your hip. Trying to keep that leg up, squeezing that heel into the ball. Yes, friends. You're doing great. We have four more just like this. And push back. Three. 
and back, two, and then we add on. Last one here, we're gonna hold it back, knee and hip, and we're gonna take it up and down and lower. So it's not a big movement. Think an inch, but I want you to squeeze your um, heel into the, in, into the ball towards your bums. So I want you to feel this in your hamstrings, what I'm trying to say, the back of that leg. Give me four, three, two, holding it here. Now I want little circles forward. Yes. Good work. And then we're going to do little circles back and forth. Three, two, let's go backwards, back and around, back and around. Can you make the movement even smaller? There we go. Four, three, two, taking that leg up. And we're going to switch sides. So feet are flat on the floor to start. Ball behind my left knee this time, taking my knees over towards the right side, placing that right forearm on the mat, lifting that left leg up. So my knee and hip are in alignment. I'm going to take that knee forward and then take that knee back, bringing it forward just a little bit and back. So working that ball and socket joint, we're going to work all ranges here. Lifting up through the side body so you're not sinking. Chest is forward. You look beautiful, team. Let's do four more. You got this for three. Two. You can lift your arm up. Last one. Hold it back. Let's go up. Up an inch down an inch. Lift and lower. Flex that foot. Watch where your knee is. Is it lined up with your hip? Or are you squeaking it forward? You look fabulous. Last four. Three. Two. Holding it up. Tiny circles forward. Beautiful. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Last four. Three. Two. Tiny circles backwards. Back and around. Back and around. Nice work. Good. Last four. Three. Two. Good work, friends. We're going to go over onto our left side body, but right leg will be on top. The ball can come down towards the side. I sometimes like to just stick it on, um, on the back side of my body to help me keep my hips lifted. We're going to flex both of our feet here, lifting up through the side body. Front arm can be in front. Heels together, toes apart. We're going to take that leg up towards the ceiling. We're going to point that toe and bring that leg back down. Good. Flex that foot. Take that up towards the ceiling. Point that toe and bring that leg back down. Nice. Let's do four like this. And point. Squeezing that quad. Lifting up to the side body. As we get tired, we tend to roll back. Can we keep that hip forward? You have two. Last one here. Beautiful. This time we're going to bring that leg in front. So knee pointed forward. Take that leg in front. Flex that foot, bend that knee, and push that leg nice and long. Let's point that toe, bring that leg in front. 
flex that foot, bend that knee, and then push it right along that left leg. Three just like this. Long and flex. Feel that nice stretch, that lengthening of that hamstring. And push. Last two. And push. Last one. Good, and push it long. Helping yourself back up to that seated position. Let's switch sides. So finding that shoulder over that wrist, that bottom leg, flexing that foot, stacking those hips. Starting with a flexed foot, heels together, toes apart. Top arm is in front, it's gonna help you. Let's take that leg up towards the ceiling. Oh yeah, point the toe. Bring it right back down. Beautiful. Flex the foot. Lift. Point the toe. Feel the length in that leg. Three, just like this. Rising up. Rise and shine. And point. Good. Flex. Oh, friends, last one. Good. And flex. This time our knees are going to be pointed towards us, bringing that leg in front. Flex the foot, bend the knee, push it long. Point the toe, toe in front. Flex the foot, bend the knee, push it long. Three just like this. And flex. And push. Here's two, and push, last one, and push, beautiful. Bending those knees, helping yourself up to a seated position. We're going to come into a little balance fun. So our feet are going to be flat on the mat, finding those shoulders over those hips to start. Placing those hands underneath our thighs, we're going to test our balance. So coming up onto our tippy tip toes, can we take that right foot off the mat to see where we're at today? And then bringing that back down. Then maybe the left foot comes off the mat and coming back down. And know that we could stay right here, just kind of playing with our balance. Option two is taking both feet off the mat Finding that sweet spot on that tailbone and bringing that back down. And option three, because you always have to have a little fun on your mat and roll around. We're going to hold this up and we're going to roll down like a little ball and maybe roll back up. Maybe tap those feet back down and try it again. Rolling back and coming up and tap. Just like you're rolling like a ball, rolling on your mat. Let's do two just for fun. This last one here, we're going to hold it down. Taking our knees into our chest, giving ourselves a nice hug here. Good work, friends. We're going to take this ball and place it under our tailbone this time. Beautiful. Good. We're going to take that right leg, knee up, and then tapping it down. We're going to start a little march with our legs here. So I like to have a nice little flex in my feet. My hips are still pointed up towards the ceiling as I tap. So option here is to take opposite arm up and opposite leg up. So working that cross body connection again, finding that stability. Beautiful. Let's do four more here. There's three. Two. Last.
last time right, last time left. Taking that ball off to the side again. This time we're gonna stack those knees over those hips and we're gonna take our legs out to the side. Flex our feet and push our legs long. Heels together and then bring our legs right back in. So knees out to the side, flex our feet, push our feet long, heels together, bending in those knees, bringing it right back in. So you wanna squeeze and push. Back is flat against the mat. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those inner thighs. Pull those legs back in. Last time in this direction. Now let's do the other direction. So squeeze those thighs together, push out. Heels together, toes apart, out to the side. Bend those knees and then squeeze in. Push out. Heels together, toes apart, out to the side. Bend those knees. Squeeze those inner thighs in. Last time here, push out. Heels together, out to the side. Beautiful, and squeeze in. One more add-on, friends. We're gonna take our right leg out nice and long. We're gonna lower that right leg down and lift that right leg up. Bend the knee, bring it in. Placing the right hand on the ball, let's take the left leg out long. Lower it down and bring it back in, switching sides. So pressing the hand into the ball. Good. Really helps connect that core. Here we go. Push, lower, lift, and in, push. Lower, lift, and in. We have four more on each side. Push, point the toe. Lower down, and lift. Try to keep that back on the mat. There we go. And push, woo. Lower, lift, squeeze in. Push out, lower down. Lift up, and as I push in, I squeeze, 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 squeeze. Everything should be shaking. Push, lower, lift, in. Last time right, pushing long, lower, lift, and in. Last time left, push, lower, lift, and in. Knees into chest, let that go. Good work, friends. We have one more, one more with our little ball friend here. We're gonna place the ball between our ankles again. So option to keep those knees bent, peeling our shoulders off the mat, pulling our belly button in towards the mat, finding our breath work right here. Option, we're gonna tap the left heel down, opposite corner, bringing it back up. Tap the right heel down, opposite corner, and back up. Option to have your hands behind your head. Option, I like to reach mine forward. You can have them on your chest. Whichever is more comfortable for you. So just finding that subtle twist. Keeping the back on the mat, so maybe your twist is here. Maybe you're tapping, right? Lifting in, give me three on each side, and lift, and two, and lift, last one. Good work, knees into chest, legs long, arms long, peel that belly off the mat. Good work, friends. Let's roll ourselves up, taking our arms up towards the ceiling, peeling our shoulders off the mat, curling in that spine, curl, 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 curl. 
round, 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 round. Rolling over, taking an inhale here. Stacking those shoulders over those hips. Finding that crisscross position, just like how we started. Taking that ball out to the side, lifting it up into space, reaching shoulders up, taking them back down, tucking that chin, rounding in that spine. Out to the side, and back up, and curl. And long, bringing your arms down beside you. Friends, this, my name is Allie, and this has been your Matt Pilates with a ball. I hope to see you again. Have a great day.